A lot of times you're asked to factor trinomials where the leading coefficient is not 1. Here's what I mean. In your homework, these problems are going to look like this. It's going to say ax squared plus bx plus c, where a does not equal 1. What I wanted to do is show you guys something you already know before we look at this new stuff. You already know how to FOIL. If I were given these two binomials and asked to multiply them, I would be doing the FOIL process firsts, outers, inners, and lasts, and then combine like terms. In your homework problems, you're going to be asked to do it backwards. You're going to be given this trinomial and asked to write it in that product of binomial form. It's a lot trickier than it sounds, and it's going to involve some guess and check. So if you have a pen in your hand, put it down. Get rid of all your pens. Take out a pencil. This is critical. Pencil only on these factoring problems because it's going to involve some guess and check. Here's what you're looking for. You're going to have two sets of parentheses like this where the product of these guys is equal to your a term, a meaning your first coefficient. Product is a. And then your second terms, I'm going to use a different colors to kind of show you what I mean. You're going to be adding something where the product of these guys is C. And then you're going to have to mess around with the positive signs, the negative signs, with how you order things, and you're going to have to check your work by foiling until you find some combination that gives you your original trinomial. You guys, I'm just telling you now, these are not easy problems. They involve some guess and check, and that's just all there is to it. There's no, like, one way to get it right every single time. So again, get rid of your pens, grab your pencils, Look, at the, look for patterns in your positives and negatives and make sure that the product of your first two terms is A and the product of your last two terms is C. From there, you're going to be foiling to see if you got the correct answer. It's guess and check.